Hey, what's up? It's Sam Frost here from Easy PPC Tutorials, the YouTube channel where I show you for free how to set up, maintain, and optimize your own PPC marketing campaigns. And in today's video, what we're going to look at uh, really, really quickly is how you can actually go and check back on what changes you've made in the past in a campaign and an ad group uh, across your whole Google Ads account in general. Now, the reason you might want to do this is because what may have happened at some stage is you've changed something and then it's had an impact either positive or negative on performance and you want to go back and assess what that change was uh, or maybe you uh, are working with an agency or a freelancer and you want to check if they're actually doing the work they claim or you your boss is hitting you up and saying hey you know Sam I need you to justify all the money I'm paying you show me that you're actually doing some work uh, that, that's actually not a good way to look at things from the boss's perspective, but that's a different topic. Uh, but basically, whatever you need to do, uh, whatever reason you've got to access a change history of your account, I'm going to show you how to access that and work with it. Now, if you haven't yet done so, uh, please do subscribe to this channel. I've got tons more tutorials coming. I'm looking to roll out uh, at least three to four new tutorials a week, if not more. So yeah, I'm going to stick with the same format of just basic screen capture, a little bit of webcam in the corner. Hopefully you like it. Uh, and if you do, please like the video as well. Now, anyway, let's get stuck in. So how do you actually access this change history thing that I'm talking about? Well, it's actually really easy to get to. All you do is you find from the overview section, this piece here that says change history. And it's a really useful tool to understand because what change history does is allows you to, to review what's gone on in the past in your account. Now, what we've got here uh, is the change history for this particular account. This is like my testing account that I use for this channel. And I'll just talk you through the features really quickly. So first thing to bear in mind is that you can set the date range on the change history, just like you set your date range anywhere else. So if you made a change in the last seven days and you want to see what that change is, well, we'll work with the seven days. We just hit this option up here. You've got custom date ranges. You've got, you know, last 30 days, last month, this month so far. You can set your date range uh, manually with the calendar as well. Really easy to work with. So set your date range that you want to check on. And then what it does here is it shows you a breakdown of the types of changes. So over the last seven days, I've made 28 changes. Zero of them were account changes, right? There were no account changes. There were three ad changes. So an ad change is like changing an ad copy, creating an ad copy. There was one bid change. So that's where you're doing bid adjustments. There were no budget changes. I didn't change any budgets in my account. There were no conversion setup changes. There were four keyword changes. Uh, so you can see here that I added four broad match keywords and I can expand that and see what those were. Uh, and there was one network change, which is this one here for Christchurch based terms, this campaign. I actually opted out of the display network. Uh, in one of the videos I recorded recently, I showed you how to make sure your search ads aren't showing uh, with display features. So that was where this change came from. Two status changes, so changed campaigns from either pause to active or active to pause, and uh, there were 15 targeting changes as well. So that's where I added uh, different targeting placements. I I set bid adjustments. I, I, I added new audiences, all those kinds of things. So as you can see, the whole change history system is, is really quite straightforward to work with. Uh, you set your date range. You can click into the different categories. You can see what's going on. So if we go back to all changes, we can see them all broken down in one place. We can see the user date and time as well. Where this is helpful uh, is if you've got, like, say you're running a, a business where you have a marketing team sitting underneath uh, you as the business owner or you as the marketing manager, and you want to know who made the change to the account. Well, if you've got people with their own unique account access to the account, which bear in mind, you know, you, you can do this. Uh, you don't all have to share the same login. Well, you're going to be able to see uh, who made the changes. So if I suddenly saw some old agency I'd partnered with or, or one of the staff had made a weird change that I, I didn't understand, well, I can go back into the version control uh, or the change history. And what I'm able to do is, is, first of all, identify when it happened, who made the change, what they did. And then also for some changes, not all of them, but for some of them, you can undo them as well. So if you think, crap, I made a mistake here, you can click undo if the option's there and you can roll that change back as well, which is pretty pretty clever. So yeah, that's how change history works in Google Ads. Uh, really useful thing to know how to use and remember is there. Uh, where I tend to find it is used most often uh, is if you're running ads for clients, um, a lot of clients have that mentality of they want to see a lot of volume of work done. Uh, and I don't agree with that mindset at all, but it's, you know, business is business. And sometimes you have to show that you have been doing a volume of work, not just doing the right type of work. That's where the change history can be really useful. You can point to the change history and say, hey, look, here is a breakdown of all the things I've done. Uh, obviously, if your clients are doing that, you want to educate them 
on the fact that it, the right type of work is far more important. I could go through and change things all day long in here without any impact uh, in terms of actual performance, but it would show that I've done lots of work in the change history, but it, it, it's not going to improve the account performance. Uh, same goes for you if you've got an employer as well. Oftentimes they'll, you know, if they've got that sort of hourly pay mindset, they want to see work volume being done for their money. So once again, you can use the change history there. Uh, as I said, another really good use case for it is if you have multiple people with access to the account. I mean, ideally, you should only have one person really working on the account at any given time. Uh, and by that, I don't mean... Overall, I mean, literally one person should manage that account, you know, and there shouldn't be multiple people going in and making changes. Uh, but equally, you know, depending on how you choose to structure things, you might have multiple people. And that's also where the change history is good. And as I said right at the start, another example of where you will use the change history is if you look back over your historical performance and you see something's gone from going well to going badly uh, or, or vice versa and you want to see what positive change you made and you don't remember – well, you can go into the change history, sort of align your change history dates with the, the, the dip or in, uh, increase in performance and then see uh, what, what you changed and then work backwards from there. So really helpful to use. Um, I, I like the change history feature. Make sure you understand it. If you've got any questions, please drop a comment. Otherwise, like this video and subscribe. I've got tons more PPC tutorials coming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.